Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if, else, if, and conditional logic. Prior to starting this lesson, there is a code.org video that you should watch. It is in the playlist. If you are confused about this, I would highly recommend going and watching that video first. On to today's lesson, if, else, if. Let's recreate the movie ratings example from the previous page and video. And an if else if statement with a series of else ifs to display the right message based on the user's age. We've started out with code that prompts user for her age. We've also provided all the console.log statements you're going to need. We have a task here. Add an if else if statement with the appropriate Boolean expression and move the console.log statement into the right clause so the correct message gets displayed. Here is a reminder of what is supposed to happen. If the user's age is 17 or over, they can see an R-rated movie. Else, if the user's age is 13 or over, they can see a PG-13 movie. Else, if, if the user's age is five or over, they can see a PG movie. Otherwise, display a message about the user being too young and what respectable four-year-old would be out alone. Test out the program to make sure your updates work. We have some coding tips here and creating an else if by hitting the plus sign at the bottom of the if statement. The first plus will, will add an else. The second one will add an else if. Remove an else if. If you add an extra else if by accident, you can remove it by switching into text mode and deleting the text. Don't forget to delete the curly braces that go with it. Looks like today we are going to add an if else if statement into here and move some console.log stuff around. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. Down here we have a variable age, prompt num, so it looks like something is going to pop up here and ask us something. What's it going to ask us? How many years old you are. Then we have a bunch of console.log statements. Let's go ahead and move this if else if over. The easy way to do this really is to switch over to block mode for the second. You can drag this in and hit the plus twice and it populates it nice for you so you don't have to write it all out. What I'm gonna do is move my console.log things over to what I think it's gonna be and then I'm gonna add my conditions. The thanks for verifying, I believe, is going to be outside. That's going to display it no matter what. We have a, you can see an R-rated movie. That's probably going to be our oldest group, our 17 and up. The PG-13, oh, that's our next group right there. You can see a PG movie. This is the five and up crowd that are hanging out at the movie theaters. And you are too young to be out alone. This right here sets all of my conditions. So if something happens, you'll get this message, else you'll get this message, else you'll get this message. If none of these conditions are met, then you will get this message here. No matter what happens here, we also have a statement that says, thanks for verifying. Well, what do we have to do in these if statements? I think what we have to do is we have to compare their age and set some parameters to that. So let's check the variable, just age. Let's make sure we delete. What are we going to do with this variable? What are we comparing this to? Well, this is the if the user's age is 17 and over. So if the age is greater than, but not just greater than, greater than or equal to, because 17 year olds can see it, not 18 and up. So if this is 17 or over, then they should get this message here. I'm gonna use the same logic and repeat it over the next couple of else statements. Next one is over 13. Again, I'm gonna check the age and see if it is greater than or equal to 13. Next one 
is going to be if the user is over five. Age greater than or equal to five. Otherwise, they're gonna get this message here. Code looks like it's going to run depending on which one of these conditions are met, then one of these will happen. So first it's gonna look and say, did the user enter something 17 and above? If not, they're gonna go down here. Did they go 13 and above? If not, they go down here to H5. And if not, they finally come down to this last one. There's no condition for it, so they will display this. When a condition is met, program stops running and you get that displayed. Let's check this out and see if my hypothesis is correct. Run, we got a box. How old are you? Well, let's use my regular age, 21. You can see an R-rated movie alone. Ooh. Try it again. Let's do somebody who's 15. This should say you can see a PG-13 movie. You can see a PG-13 movie. Six-year-old, can you see a PG movie? You can see a PG movie. And finally, the last one, a two-year-old wants to go see a movie. Uh-oh, you're too young for most things. Thanks for verifying. It looks like I did everything code was asking. I put some if and else if statements in there. One for 17, 13, and five. We did display a message the user was too young and we tested it out. I think that's everything code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.